text. There you go. Thank you, Guardy. Thank you, Guardy. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure out, get you a new computer for Christmas or a new phone for Christmas. All right. All right. Man, this morning, this video was for quality, but we can hear you fine. Ah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, good morning. Good morning, fam. Man, then when I tell y'all this message this morning, um, I hopefully more people come in. I used to try to play uh, the video, give people time to actually uh, get in here. Because this message, when I tell you this message, is for a lot of us. Actually, if I'm being very transparent this morning, this message is for me. Right. When I when I do the morning meetup conversations, when I do um, these Zooms, I I usually pull it from something that transpired uh, the day before. Right. And yesterday, almost all day, I was dealing with fear. Right. Right. And so I wanted to title this one. God, I'm scared. Right. Here's what's crazy. We are on this thing as believers. And a lot of us, I mean, we try to encourage each other, you know, be fearless, right? Right? Uh, but some of us, real life, are afraid, right? So if you just saw me on IG, I was talking about being afraid of success. And that's kind of where I want to go. When I say success, I don't mean just financially, right, in your career or whatever. I just mean in life, right? Some of us, real talk, are afraid of success. Some of us, real talk, don't believe we can have a blissful life right right so i want to definitely talk about uh that but first i want to go to our lord and savior father god thank you again this morning for the technology of a meetup god thank you for uh, opening doors for us to have conversation that might simply entertain somebody but then to again god it might transform somebody and we could inspire somebody's day god so we just say thank you in advance god use me uh maximize your message minimize the messenger uh in it have your way with this word, God. We say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all, y'all, we wake up daily, right? Some of us wake up daily and we going for something, right? By sure, yes, yes, in the comments. By sure, yes, yes. If you're going for something, it don't matter what it is when you wake up. Yes, yes, right? Right? You're trying to gain something, right? Some of us trying to maintain something, right? From my notes, some of us trying to change something. Some of us might be trying to grow, right? Some of us might be trying to lose, right? But yes, yes, in the comments, if you're going for something when you open your eyes, right? Maybe a better life or a different situation or whatever it is, better health, right? Right? Um, how many of us, right, can admit right now, yes, I want to maintain, change, grow, lose, right? right? Something, but I'm scared, right? Right? Yes, yes, a different situation. Yeah, right. I'm with you, right? Some of us will not even admit it to ourselves. I'm scared of change. We know, that's just, I'm going I'm to go, I'm going to go financial real quick. We know we had a fixed income or we know we had a certain level, but we actually afraid or won't do something different to change it. We just go through life with that being our ceiling, right? Because we are actually afraid, right? Yes, as believers, we'll tell somebody, do you trust God? I'm talking about my life right now, right? Yeah, I do trust God, right? But I'm still scared. Is that anybody, right? Yes, I do trust God, but I'm still scared. Yes. I, I I have some form of anxiety or discouragement, discouragement or even fear, right? Some of us won't admit it, right? Free yourself right now and say, yes, God, I love you. Yes, God, I trust you. Yes, God, you are him. Yes, God, but I'm a little scared, right? Yes, I am having a little fear, right? Right? As believers, as believers, and even, ooh, and leaders, right? We talk, I'm talking to me today. I'm talking to me today. Not you, Phil, not you, Ty, Inez, I'm not, me, cardiac, I'm talking about me. You can compare your life to this word. I was up late for this one and early for this one, right? As believers that we are, David, right? 
and even the leaders that we 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 are, we talk, man, be fearless, right? Man, bro, we encourage each other, guard it. You just gotta trust God. Yep, yep. You can do it. We talk all of this good stuff, right? Right? But we still afraid. Yep, I'm talking about my life today, right? I'm afraid. I'm afraid, right? And the, what, what I'm talking about is my life, if I could be transparent today, is I know, how many of y'all just know there's a purpose God done put on your life of a destination, right? I know that for a fact, right? I believe that in my heart, I got a gift. Anybody got a gift, a purpose, a destination, but scared at the same time? Yes, I love you. Yes, God, I'm scared. God, I need your help carrying me. Father, restore my strength, faith, all of that. Amen, right? Right? It's okay. It's okay. We can free ourselves right here on this Zoom this morning because it is okay, right? Three or four gifts in me. Yes, yes, big facts, right? Right? Today, today I want to go deep into a message, mainly, like I said, for me. Right. And I want to do it in front of the world because I know you feel the same way. We can we can shout it out. Some people might get on here and be like, I ain't, I totally trust God. Yeah. Yeah. With your circumstances and your hang ups. Yeah. OK. Right. But I, I mainly want to do it when I when I wrote this one. I, I wanted to write it for me, but I know it's going to free somebody else. I know it's going to encourage somebody else. Let's look in the Bible. Adrian, Inez, I know you on here. I know you on here. Let's go to Joshua chapter one, verse six through nine. Bible's better than Netflix. Bible's better than Netflix. Telling you these Bible stories be so legit, so good. You don't need, you can read these stories in a series form and don't need the next the Netflix special. Bible's better than Netflix. The book is coming. Yep. Right. I wrote this down. This story is a simple one, very simple, but it's epic at the exact same time. I was in the gym last night. I was uh, reading this story. Right. Marcus, I found you from NGM Music app back in 20. My faith was tested in 2020. So uh, my little brother died and I haven't been back since. Well, welcome back, Mac iPhone user. Welcome back. Welcome back. Right. Right. Here's a Bible story for you. It is epic, right? Right? Um, let me say this. Let me say this. Just like Mac iPhone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anybody on here got a lot to carry? Anybody on here got a lot to carry? Right? Watch this. Watch this. Anybody on here got people depending on them? Mm. Anybody on here got people depending on them? Anybody on here leading people, leading somebody, right? If you got a lot to carry, yes, yes. If you, if you, if people depending on you, yes, yes, right? If you leading some, anybody got some big shoes to fill? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Anybody got a job to go do this morning? Ooh. I'm already getting goosebumps, right? Right? Anybody on here got a purpose to go accomplish, right? I'm on your street somewhere, right? You got kids, they depending on you, bruh, right? You got, you over a household, please believe. Yo, people depending on you, spiritually leading. Yep, yep, I'm in the driveway, yep, yep. Anybody got a lot to carry? Man, they ain't in that gym for nothing. I, I need some big shoulders. I got a lot to care. Know this. Know this. God will not give us an assignment or a purpose. This is real talk right now, as I'm afraid, right? God will not give us an assignment or a purpose that he's not going to prepare us for, right? All right? Think about this. Out of your whole life, kindergarten, sandbox, middle school, first prom, whatever, out of your whole life, right? The stuff that you like about it and the stuff that you don't like about it, 
is simply to prepare you for our destination. Yes, yes, or no? Right? Right? So my people who grew up with everything is to prepare you for something. My people who started from way back behind the starting line, me, is to prepare us for something. Right? Right? Notice God will not give us an assignment or a purpose that he has not prepared us for. All right? In this, in this, in this Joshua 1, uh, 6 and 9, I dropped it on there. I hadn't got to it yet. I hadn't got to it yet. Joshua is actually uh, preparing for a transition in life. I'm reading this on the treadmill last night. All right? Preparing for a transition in his life. Anybody transitioning to something, right? God telling him, you got a job that's really big out there, right? But it's probably too big for you. Anybody got a, anybody got, got something that's too heavy for them right now, but you still trying to carry that thing. But God is with him all the way. That's the gist of this whole story. Here we go. Drop it on there. Read it for yourself. It ain't me. This is a Bible story you can now love and learn for the rest of your life. Joshua 6. Bible says this, be strong and courageous because you, Coach, Jessica, Adrian, will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Read again. I'm going to read again. Be, be strong and courageous. Bible says that because guess why? You. You're going to lead these people to inherit the land that I swore their ancestors to give them. You're going to do that, right? He meant it so much, Dana. He meant it so much that he said it twice, right? Right? He meant it so much because, listen, if I say it right now, Jessica, Ty, Mac iPhone user, right? Coach, Curtis, yo, be strong, my boy. Be courageous. Guess what? You got to lead these people. Your last generation didn't do it, and I, I promised them didn't do it, so you got to do it, right? He said it twice. Verse 6 says, be strong and courageous. Verse 7, right there in your face, he said it right there again. Be strong and very courageous because he knew you was going to create some doubt in your head. But what if I ain't good enough? But what if I ain't pretty enough? But what about my resources? But what about my criminal background? But what about this? So he had to say it twice. Be strong. Be very courageous. By verse seven, say, be careful to obey all to, to obey all the law my servant Moses gave to you. Do not turn. Oh, do not turn from from it. Don't run. Don't run from your calling, Marcus. Don't run. Right. Do not turn from it to the left or the right. Translation. Don't be distracted. Don't look this way. Don't look that way, man. Go toward this purpose. I'm talking about me right now. I'm afraid. I got a lot to carry. I got real people depending on me. Yep. Sound like your life, right? Be strong. Be courageous. Oh, be careful. Obey all the laws. Don't turn from it. Right? Right? Don't be distracted. Watch this. Watch this. It says this. Do not turn from it, from the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. This is Bible. This ain't your boy. Don't run. Don't be distracted so that you can be successful wherever you go. Anybody ever been distracted from their purpose? Yes, yes. Right? Here, let's keep going. Verse 8. Yo, keep this book of the law always in your mouth is it actually say on your lips right meditate on it morning meet up on it midday talk on it go to sleep with it youtube it while you in the gym yes yes keep this book of the law always on your lips meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it guess what it's saying mess up and act right and see what you get Mess up and follow me and see what you get. Right? Verse 9. Have I not commanded you, Marcus, Dana, 
Jessica, right? Have I not commanded you? Verse nine, right? Said it again. It's time number three. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Marcus, while I'm afraid, yep, yep. I'm finna mess this up right here, right? For the Lord, your God, will be with you, guarded wherever you go. This is what I got out of that. Mm, be strong, be courageous. We got that three times, right? That last line hit me so hard. I was in the gym. This is what I got out of it. God's presence will be with us, but his promises are optional. Let me say it again. God promised us some stuff. It's up to us to go through it. He said, I'm going to be with you. Let me get deep real quick. Let me get deep real quick. God's presence will be with us, but his promises are optional. I wrote that down, right? God's saying, yep, I'm going to be with you wherever you go, but however far you want to go, Curtis, it's up to you, David. I'm going to be with you, but how far you want to take this train is up to you, right? If I make it practical, wherever you do life, God's saying, I'm going to be there. If you make your bed living a life of hell, God going to be there. If you inherit in the kingdom and you got all the riches, God going to be there. Right? Right? If you want a stressful, dramatic life, God going to be there. If you want to be on a fixed income, if you want to have bad health, if you want to, God going to be there. If you want to have a blissful marriage, God going to be there. Right? If I want peace in my house, God saying, I'm going to be with you wherever you want to go, my boy. However, my presence is guaranteed, but the way you experience these promises, it's up to you. You want to go rob the bank? I'm going to be right there. You get arrested, I'm going to be right there. Right? So here's the problem. A lot of us, a lot of us want to do stuff our own way and then say, God, where you at? Hey, wherever you want to take this thing, I'm going to be right there. I promise you this. You can go inherit the kingdom. But if you want to go do this, I'm with you. He mentions two things in that, in that Joshua uh, passage, right? Two things. He said, he said a couple times, don't be afraid. Don't get discouraged, right? Right? But let me let me let me pivot right here. Y'all know I've been saying Bible better than Netflix. I've been saying the book is coming. I love these stories because we can always um insert our lives in any of these stories. Yes, yes, right, right. But a lot of times when we do that, we miss the miracles in it, right? Here's a good example. If I said, if I said off my nose, if I said David and Goliath, right now you can point out a Goliath in your life. You got a mountain somewhere, right? Right. Whatever symbolic for your life, you can use it in these stories. But don't miss the miracle that's happening in it. We can compare ourselves to, man, it's like Moses and Pharaoh. Right. But don't miss the miracle in it. Right. Back on my notes. Look at the word again. Look at the word. Right. God said it a few times. We read it. Y'all saw it. It ain't just my Bible. It's yours, too. Right. God say, be strong, don't be afraid, be courageous, right? If he said that three times, he must have knew, Yaku, you was going to be scared, Curtis. Marcus, he must have knew you're going to tiptoe to that thing. He got to say it three times. Anybody ever tell their kid three times, don't touch that? Matter of fact, if y'all ever been serious with somebody, you say it a couple times, listen, I'm not playing with you. I'm going to say it again, right? 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 God had to say it a few times. He must have knew Joshua who had to go lead some people. Anybody got to lead somebody? Anybody leading the household? Yo, it's going to be a little scary out here. This rent might get behind. Yes, yes. Right? But he's saying, don't get discouraged. Wherever you go, I'm with you. 
Now, how far you want to go, that's up to you, right? Now, I said all of that. Be honest. Be honest. I just said all of that. We just read scripture. God is actually telling Joshua. He's actually telling you, don't be afraid. Be courageous. Be strong. Who can be honest and, st and still say, I'm a little afraid? I'm guilty. Yesterday, it hit me really hard. I'm trying to lead. A, this is my life. You can compare yours. I'm trying to lead a Zoom. I'm trying to lead a blended family. I'm trying to be a manager at a radio station. I'm trying to do a, a podcast thing and own that. I got friends that I lead, right? 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 Y'all know why I'm a little afraid? And you know why you a little afraid? Because you got a lot to... Matter of fact, go back to that. Is anybody else depending on you? You ain't scared of yourself. I ain't scared of being broke. I ain't scared of losing. Right? Haven't been able to sleep for the last four days. Thank you. Being transparent. Why? We a little afraid. Man, we got a wife. We got some kids that need this medicine. I got to go get it. So, yes, I got this little old job, but God giving me this purpose, and I'm really scared to jump in this purpose because this right here takes care of them. I'm talking about me right now. I can't help it, God. I'm like, Coach, I've been up every night. It's in my head. Yo, I got this purpose. Anybody got this purpose? Thank you, Ty. Thank you, David. I never feel Anybody got this purpose we know? Anybody got this gift? And then we got this job that we actually afraid to go to the gift to get because this one give us a little bit of something. And so we repeat this cycle and cycle and cycle and stay where we are. God said, if you want to stay here, I'm with you. How far you want to take this? You want to go inherit this? Cool. If not, cool. I'm going to be with you. But I'm still scared, God. Who else can't help it? Who else can't help it? As we believers, who else can't help it? Right? I'm going to tell you why we can't help it. Right? I wrote this down. How can you tell me? Mm, God, how can you tell Joshua? Ty, how can I encourage you? Yaku, how can I get on the phone and tell you? Yo, don't be afraid, bro. Right? Hey, you can go ahead, man, jump, man. If you believe in God, Dana, do it. How can I tell you that when other people's lives depend on your move? You're going to be scared. Faith in action. We're going to talk about it, Ty. You're going to be scared. Not for me, for the people depending on me. Right? God, I ain't being selfish. I trust you. However, when I, when I go through God, they going to hurt. Right? They need to be dependent on you too, but a lot of us in between our ears, they depending on me. Right? Right? Yeah, God, I believe you, but I got this spouse. I got to take care of this house. I got these kids. I got these grandkids depending on you, God. Depending on me, God. Right? People on here who lead something, that's carrying something, y'all feel me right now. Right? Right? They depending on your income. They are depending on this job to keep this mortgage and the rent going. Yes, yes. It's scary. Admit it, right? How can you tell somebody not to be afraid? When, when, mm -mm. off the notes again, I knew I was, thank you, Holy Spirit. Who else under-resourced? Who else under-resourced? Sure, I better get a bunch of yes, yes. Who else on here is under-resourced? Right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. God did not say, don't feel afraid or don't feel discouraged. He said, don't be it. Right? Let me make this practical. And this might not even be more. This might not even be right, ladies. Fellas, you might say to another dude, bruh, it's okay to look, just don't touch. Right? It's okay to feel afraid. It's bigger than you. It's faster than you. You ain't got no money. You ain't the smartest. It's okay to feel like, y'all cool, your product ain't the greatest. It's okay. Don't be it. Just because you feel it, don't be it. Here, you wondering how we must trust God, right? I say it all the time. Probably laugh when I say it. 
Let's start doing it scared. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm afraid. Let's do it afraid. Let's go in there kicking and screaming. God, I'm scared. I'm scared. I might. Let's just keep going forward. Right? Do it afraid. Right? You can have fear. Don't let fear have you. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to me. You can have fear. Don't let fear have you. Right? Here, for most now, not even most of us, all of us, our default setting is fear. By default, things will scare you out of the protection of you. Your body says, I don't want to hurt myself, so. I don't want to go without, so. That's default. You can't change that. False evidence appearing real. Talk. Feelings will come. Preach. Don't operate in our emotions. Right? Right? Unfamiliarity will cause some kind of default anxiety. Yes, it will. If you don't know what's going to happen, yes, you're going to have some kind of what if. Yes, you will. It's default. That mountain big by default will cause some kind of discouragement. Yes, it will. Right? But don't be it. Right? Anyone on here? Anybody on here believe? Believe? Um, anybody on here believe the fact that God has given us a destination? Anybody got a destiny? Yes, yes. Anybody believe the fact that God has given all of us a start date and an end date, right? Even if you can't see it, do you believe it? So, somebody on here believe eh, whatever, right? 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 Even if your destination is not to be the rich one or the famous one or to lead a Zoom or lead people, right? Right? Or this or that or whatever, right? God still gave us a destiny, right? As one of my parents, one of my parents, one of my grandparents, right? Right? As a parent, you got a you got a destination. You got a destiny. As a grandparent, you have a destiny. Yes, yes. On your job, you got a destiny. You're going somewhere with it. Right? If it ain't far, it ain't far, right? You got a destiny. Yes, yes, right? Matter of fact, I actually wrote this. Type it in the chat. I got a, I have a destiny. I'm going to write it myself. Cuz I said it. I have a destiny. I need people to know that. Right? Drop that. If you got a destiny, say it. I got a destiny. Got me? Got me. We got it. We writing it. We writing it, right? I wrote it like that. I wrote, write this. I have a destiny. Think about wherever God want to take you when you writing that. Right? It's in your heart. It's in your inner. It's in, coming from inside. You know where that is. You got it? Here's the thing that I wrote after that. Know this. Marcus, I'm talking to me. I'm not talking to y'all. The bigger that destiny is, the bigger the enemies are. Greater the destiny, the greater the enemies. The bigger the dream, the bigger the mountain. Yes, yes. The bigger the dream, the earlier you're going to have to get up in the morning. Got me? The bigger the dream, the earlier you got to get up in the morning. Every level is a devil. Ooh, that's it. Y'all church folks, love it. Bigger the dream, bigger the enemies. New levels, new devils. B Bizzle said that one, right? God basically telling us, y'all, that on the way to wherever we want to go for our lives, the real enemy is in our destiny, right? I'm sorry, it's not in our destiny. It's not in our situation. The real enemy is not in your circumstance. Right? The real enemy is not the person hating on you. The real enemy, right, is not, oh, I'm a black man in America, racism. That ain't the real enemy. No, it ain't that manager that hired, what did I say earlier, hired his niece who ain't got third grade education. That ain't the enemy over all the degrees you got, right? 
That's not the real enemy. The real enemy, yes, yes, is that fear of or discouragement or that doubt or that distraction or that procrastination. Yeah, I'm rocking. Yep, yep. Or our sinful ways. Yep, yep. Or that sneakiness or that corner cutting. Yep, yep. The real enemy is the one that's keeping us from our destiny is coming from the inside. I wrote this down and I actually smiled when I wrote it. I almost wanted to play it. My favorite Michael Jackson song says, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Y'all know the song? Here's the truth. A lot of us won't really look in the mirror. A lot of us would rather say, they only giving me $9 an hour. A lot of us would really say I got would rather say I got a criminal background. I've been divorced. He left me with this. She did that. Yeah. A lot of us won't look in the mirror and say, man, I cut corners. Man, I show up five minutes late every day. Man, I got a way of spending money that I ain't trying to change. Look into your details of your life right now. Think about it. Right? What's really keeping you from that? Marcus, I'm talking to me. Right? What's in the details? What's in the details keeping you from being a good husband or a wife or a good friend or a good business person? What is the real reason? Because a lot of us will say, man, I got my thing. This, this, my, man, I just like to drink. Oh, I just like to smoke. Oh, I just like to, I like to steal. I, I, I like, I like to sleep in. I like to, and try to make that norm and want everything else to change around you. God, give me some more money. I ain't got enough money, God. I'm low on funds, God. Give me some more so I can do more of what I'm doing right now that got me needing more. Yep. Yep. Some of us are little, I'm on finances right now for some reason. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, let me get off finances because we always have. Some of us are continue to put stuff in our body that sent us to the doctor and then get in the doctor's office and pray to God for a good report. But then want to say, man, America jacked up with what they're doing with the food. You putting it in your mouth. God say, I'm going to be with you where you want to take it. Wherever you want to take it, I'm going to be there. Some of us don't look good in our clothes and want to try to hide it and tuck it. But you don't want to change what you're doing, do it. Oh. Let's get back to finances since we all got them problems. Some of us want to take the hundred dollars that we get that ain't enough to pay the big thing and spend it on leisure and spend it on Netflix, spend it on our little drink and our little weed, and then say, God, I ain't got enough money. Can you give me some more? And then get some more and say, Man, I'm stressed. I need to go get some more of that. Let's be real today, right? Monster taco. <laughs> right? 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 Watch this. Mm. Some of us, not some of us, me, talking to me, looking at the promises God has given us and not living in it. I'm talking to me. I ain't even trying to encourage you. I'm talking to me. Sad part about it is that when I said it, somebody said me too. Some of us real life look at the promises God has given us and not living in it because we're scared. Some of us, no, me, know God promised us with a gift to sing, to build with our hands, with creativity, with conversation, with leadership, with strategy, right? Some of us know God, mm, me, stop saying some of us, gave us a gift and we ain't using it all the way. Oh, God, you gave me this gift. I'm going to use a little bit of it. God, where you at in my life? I need you to show up. That's how we sound, y'all. Right? Let me keep going. Let me, let me, oh, oh. I put this down. We got to stop saying it's my credit score. It's my background. It's my... It's the coach that was hating on me, right? Well, you got to stop saying it and start saying it's my fear. It's my discouragement, right? 
it's my ways, God. I do like to sleep in and, and then speed to work and cuss everybody out on the way. Yes, yes, right? Put it like this, back to that word, back to that word. Here's your question of the day. If God got to talk us into something, right? He used it three times in here, right? If God got, God used it three times on here, right? Whoever texted me, stop, <laughs> right? Um, Oh, I see who that is. That's our group conversation. All right. Um, if God if God have to tell us three times, I see it's I. That's us. Uh, um, if God if God got to tell us something, He said it three times. Here's the question of the day. Ask yourself. Ask yourself, what have you talked yourself out of that God been trying to give you? What have you talked, Mark? What have you talked yourself out of that God trying to give us? It's easy to talk ourselves out of it, ain't it? Whatever category you choose, whatever category you can come up with, we can say health, finances, whatever. What you can talk yourself out of? Right? We all got some, right? We all got some we done talked ourselves out of so deep. We be so deep in discouragement. We constantly would blame somebody else and we constantly talking ourselves right out of it. Enemy cold blooded. Got you blaming that you from a single parent household. But you got anger issues. I used to say it all the time like this. It ain't your fault. You are you come from where you come from, but it, it's your problem. It ain't your fault. It's your problem. Deal with it. Right. Some of us won't put down our own, some of us won't put down our own addictions. Real talk, being very real right now. Some of us will not put down our own procrastinations and our own hangups at all. I ain't putting this down. I'm gonna keep doing this. Right? I know if I put this down, it'll free me up to do this, but I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna ask God where he at, right? We want to keep doing exactly what we're doing, spending the money, eating the way, hanging out. Wasting our time, sleeping in, and then ask God for more. This is me up early this morning writing this, right? If God got to talk us into something, this would be the last thing. If God got to talk us into something like he did Joshua by using it repeatedly, say three times, stay strong, be, be, be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous, be strong. He said it three times, right? Today, whole message. Got part of it last night, a lot of it this morning. The whole message for me, as I'm afraid to move all the way into my purpose, right? Right? The whole message today is this. For those that people are like me, we can talk ourselves into something just like we should talk ourselves out of something. Right? Talk ourselves out of fear, just like you talk yourself into doing what you do. The things that we, we won't put down. Talk yourselves out of something, just like you talk yourself into something. Yes, yes. Right? Right? We can talk ourselves into it, just like we've been talking ourselves out of it. If we just ask the question, if I flip it around, we just ask that question, what have we talked ourselves out of? What have you talked yourselves into? I need me in my fear. I need to talk to myself and say, Mark, all the way. No more. All the way. Words have power. Thank you. Right? There are things that's in our lives, right, <clears throat> that we can procrastinate. Put some stuff in our lives that we can take some action into. Yes, yes. This message was for me, y'all. A lot of times, and I thought about this yesterday when I was pulling up from the gym. I don't ask for a lot of stuff. I think many times we done did the Zoom. I might have said, hey, man, if this helps help you sow a seed, I may have done that twice. Ever. Right? But sometimes... You have to invest in the things that change your life. Real talk. Sometimes we cannot just be takers or receivers. Sometimes we got to say, um, let me read. 
this message was transformational. Sometimes we got to be like, yo, let me sew into that. This helped me. I say it all the time on here. Some of this stuff might be entertainment for somebody before they got to go life. Cool. Sometimes these words are for me and it might help you. Cool. Right? So where your heart gets. So where, so where it helps you. Right? We got this eight-day campaign and we're going to talk about it, but I just want to say thank you, God, for this moment. God, thank you for keeping me up late last night and waking me up this morning and talking to me about my inner fears and the things that hold me back. God, I hope this message bleeds over into this Zoom onto the lives of others in some way, somehow. I hope this message inspires others to tell others about their ways. God, we just thank you. We ask you to have your way with our day. We ask you to have our, your way with our hearts. Continue to order our steps, God. Let us be servants and obedient to the call you give us on our life. We say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right? Um, so where you being fed? Phil, I got to say this. Phil, can I, can I, can I put it out there? How, how you saw? I got to say this. And I say Jessica too. Um, yo, wherever you, wherever you worship or, or church or whatever, don't ever, or if you ever given to a radio station, you ever given to anything, don't get caught up into how much you give. What did he just say? So were you being fed? If you so big, you so big. If you so small, you so small. So were you, listen, Phil gives $5 probably weekly. He listens to the Bless Me Show nationally in Wisconsin, and he gives $5 weekly, been consistent. First, I got to say thank you, right? And I'm, I'll just tell you, I, I use the money to answer the collect calls that I get from the prisons when they call me from prison. I use that money to do that, by the way, right? So it don't really go to me. It goes to their phone bill, right? So thank you, Phil, right? But, man, I stay up late. I get up early. I try to be transformational. I try to be... Uh, transparent, I should say, uh, in these words. Man, listen, if it help you, tell somebody. But It might help somebody else. If if you so, so for it, right? Um, but I got to say that. Eight-day campaign, we in day three. Um, day one, you'll see a lot of it on the social media. Day two, day one, we pulled up at a church and we just kind of put another church on display. Uh, yesterday, we did the uh, Love Thy Neighbor Challenge. Some of them videos was funny. Uh, we tried to post a lot of them. Ty, uh, can you turn your mic on day three? What are we doing? What are we doing? I guess not. Day three. I mean, I, I'll go through it. Anybody got the notes on day three? Um, I think day three, we are honoring local heroes or something like that. Right? Ty had to go. We are honoring local heroes today. So, man, honor somebody who's a hero. Send the email. Send the send it. Tag us on the on the Bless Me sort of grand imaging page, right? We'll repost it. But the whole point in this whole eight day campaign is to do something different. A lot of us wake up and say, "Man, how can I come up?" At some point, we have to say, "Man, how can I sow or pour back?" And it don't have to always be financially. Yes, that helps. Right. Yes, that helps. Y'all cool know me and him have conversations about putting all of this merch and stuff out. Stuff costs. Right? Ministry be costing, bro. Right? It takes money to do kingdom business. Big facts. Big facts, right? But but today, if you honoring local heroes, honor somebody. What is that Zoom loot user that said, man, Marcus, I met you in 2020? That was uh, that was that was that was local heroes type stuff right there. I ain't asked you for it, but thank you. Right? So today, man, listen, honor somebody. On our Facebook and Instagram, we so used to showing us and showing the highlights of what we did. Honor somebody. So into this morning meetup. So into your church. So into somebody else. Send somebody else five. Buy somebody else a coffee today. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's benefited you. I'm just saying. I'm on something different today, y'all. I'm really on something different today. All right, microphone's open. Microphone's open. Microphone's open. 